What's up, guys? Action. It's <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Do you want to say hello? What's up? My name is Fadi, and I'm from Sweden, not Switzerland. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Fadi to Hadi. Instagram, Twitter, everything. <laughs> but what's up, guys? It's your girl, Baby J. First things first, I was on television. Y'all saw me. I was looking real cute. And I'm just going to talk to you guys about my little, you know, couple seconds of fame or whatever. Because people have been, like, DMing me and Snapchatting me. Talking about, like, was that you on the floor? And are you about to sing? Are you rapping? Like, what episode are you going to be on? And all types of stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm going to just talk to you guys about that whole experience because it was pretty interesting, actually. Okay, so here's how it all started. Okay, so, you know, I was just chilling and one of my friends named Jordan, first of all, shout out to him, he came all the way through for me. Uh, it was like a rough day. It was a really rough day and I remember I was just like bawling my eyes out, crying and just like, Whatever. But one of my friends, Jordan, actually invited me to um, be on the floor because he managed this girl that was singing on the floor. So he was like, hey, yo, like, you should come backstage. It'll be late, you know, it'll be a good time. And he did this. He asked me this like a week before or like a week prior. So, of course, I was like, oh, yeah, sure, that's dope. Like, I want to be, like, chilling. I had no idea that I was actually going to be on TV until I really got there. So the day of the whole shoot, I had one of the worst days of my life. I was just bawling my eyes out, crying, because, you know, people ain't shit. People really ain't shit. So I was just bawling my eyes out, crying. And then my friend Jordan calls me, and I'm just like, hello, hello, yeah, oh yeah, I'm coming, I'm on my way. He was on the phone like, hey yo, like, you need to suck it up, girl. Like, ain't no tears. Don't cry for him. I'm on my way. Yes, yo, I'm coming. Like, I was sitting there. I looked like I was, I sounded like I was straight up drunk, crying my eyes out. But then I was like, you know what? I'm about to do this because this is like a nice opportunity. So I got my ass up from my bed and I managed to put on some type of makeup. Like, it wasn't even like 100%, but like, you know, we was doing something. And I also had my natural hair out. And let me tell you, I haven't worn my natural hair out since like the seventh, sixth grade. So I wasn't even really comfortable with it. I didn't know how to style it. It was just a lot going on. I don't know. I was like going through a phase where I was just trying to understand myself. So I was just wearing less makeup. You know, I had my natural hair out and I was just do my thing and you know I got 4C hair so it's like it's really hard to style 4C hair and I just and I'm not even used to working my natural hair out so it was just a lot but I was like you know we gonna make something work today cause we gonna be we going to the forest like girl come on I was trying my best to get something together and then I just put I threw on an outfit cause it was like chop 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 I was running late and we weren't sure exactly how strict they were gonna be, so I was running late. I threw something on, threw some makeup on real quick, and did something with my hair. This is so we get to the Sony Studios, and I'm just chilling. You know, we're just chilling, walking around, trying to figure out what's going on. Me and Jordan. We get to the little check-in point, and then the lady's like, "Hello, how you doing?" Uh, here's a bunch of papers. You gonna sign these? These are release forms because you're gonna be filmed and be on. You're gonna be on TV today. Wait, what? Hold up! I'm gonna be on TV, girl. I wasn't even ready. Like, oh my. I really would pull up to a television shoot and not be 100% on fleek. But you know, I was going to own it anyway because, you know, this only, this doesn't happen every day. So I was like, let me sign these goddamn forms and I will be on TV. I guess so. So yeah, then we like were walking around the Sony Studios because they gave us wristbands and low key, like, we were running late to the actual, uh, the four shoot. But we were like, you know what? We gonna do our thing anyway, so we just started like, you know, perusing, walking around, and looking at all the other different sets that were in the big Sony Studios location, you know, we saw the Wheel of Fortune, we was peeking our heads in all the different sets, and it was just really fun and really cool to see like, um, television shows and their sets, and how they're just filmed, and how everything happens in this one little space, like, it's crazy, actually it's not that little, it's really big. It was very big to my surprise. But we finally ended up at the four location set 
and we just walked up in there and I, I realized that if you just walk around like you're supposed to be doing something they people just assume that you're supposed to be there so they brought us to backstage and we were friends and family so we sat backstage they started kind of like filming filming stuff like there was a bunch of clips that they were gonna put from us being backstage and they're gonna put that on the actual TV show because you know it's like but it's like footage, you know, they want to see who the family and friends are, you know, when they're when they're when their artists are performing and stuff like that. So they had us just chilling and stuff backstage and you know, doing a little bit of acting too, and it was fun. That was it was really interesting seeing how like um behind the scenes works when looking at television shows and actually how much goes into a television show behind the scenes. Because we were there for a very long time, like since like 11 a.m. and I didn't get, and I, I didn't leave until 10 p.m. We were waiting for the artist that we were there for to perform, and she ended up actually not being able to perform that day. And I was sitting there talking to Jordan and stuff like that, and we were actually having a deep conversation because, like I said, it was low key one of the worst days of my life. So I was just venting that out, and just, we kind of even forgot that the cameras were there actually most of the time. I almost met P Diddy because when we went to the bathroom, his dressing room was like right next to the bathroom and the second time I went he was actually in there and I was like ah come on out P. Diddy like come on like I want to give P. Diddy a high five um the, the white guy the white guy who's the judge he came out and gave a motivational speech to the um performers and it was actually really like motivational I was getting motivated and I didn't I wasn't even singing so like it was lit and then they had like, I think it was like Beyonce's choreographer came back there too and she started talking to people. And I was just like, okay, this is really nice. And everything was just lit. And you know, everybody thinks I was singing or whatever, but I wasn't singing. Like, y'all really thought, if I was about to be on the floor and I was about to be performing, girl, let me tell you, everybody would have known, okay? <laughs> See, I can't, I can't sing, y'all, okay? Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. <laughs> but yeah, no, I wasn't singing. I had like my little five, uh, my five, ten seconds of fame, you know what I'm saying? Low key, your girl is a rapper. Let me insert a clip. Hey. Graphic only has one bad bitch. I'm a classic, no average assassin. Killing these hoes, call me psychopathic. Going manic, please lies, no panda. I'm the baddest, you the saddest. Tragic when I come through, I manage to damage. So please panic while I wreak havoc. Work hard like granite, but I don't speak Spanish. I appear you vanish. Now trick that's magic. So I'm a starlight patch, you're stuck like traffic. These niggas are jokers, they're so freaking two faced. This ain't no riddle, cause Batman's my roommate. All of these bitches throw shade like a bouquet. But I'm not playing these games like it's two. Okay, if you a hater, just eat it like souffle. Baby J, bitch. Ah, I just put you off, Jay. Yeah, suck on that. My friends are so mean to me. F you, Pierre. It was just like a hella fun experience, honestly. I got to meet lots of people backstage and, you know, everybody that makes the show happen behind the scenes. She, the girl that I was supporting, she didn't actually get to perform that day. If she did get to perform that day, I would have gone out with my friend and we would watch her performance, like, out on the big stage and stuff. That didn't happen, but it was still an amazing experience. I'm glad I got to go and be a part of that and just see how everything worked. And that was really fun. And it was kind of, it's interesting knowing like what's going to happen before everybody else does because you were actually at the set, at the set, you know. I knew who was going to be kicked off the floor and I kind of had an idea who was going to win because, you know, uh... I saw them practicing and I saw their vibes and all the performers were really nice. The ones that I was like speaking to, they were all really nice and very sweet people. You know, they that's what they seemed like at least. The taping that I was in, this was actually one of the litish like episodes that they had so far. It was like one of the most like, oh my god, like everybody was kind of like shook. So, but yeah, that was my experience being on the four. Y'all really tried to size, but I. I'm just, I was just chilling backstage. I'm, I'm not performing or none of that. So, yeah. But yeah, that was my little 10 seconds of fame. You know, I really thought I was doing something, you know, 
Baby J made it to TV. You know, shout out to all my niggas for real. Like, some of y'all wasn't with me shooting in the gym though, so don't act like you know me because you don't know me, girl. I ain't your cousin, girl. Baby J moved out to Hollywood. Now she don't know how to act. No, I'm just out here grinding and stuff. Yeah, the episode, it's like online if you want to see it. I I was like 40, like 40 minutes in. Like, it wasn't even that deep. Um, But I'm episode four of the four. Pretty lit. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. That was just my whole quick spiel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!